Our interview with Colin Mockery and his daughter Kinley got us thinking about transgender people. Caitlyn Jenner is a trailblazer to some, but long before the former decathlete came out as a woman, gender pioneers were challenging the status quo. Here's tonight's look back. The first, the best known, the sex change operation was one performed about 15 years ago on a young ex-GI named George Jorgensen who went to Copenhagen and came back as Christine. When Christine's story was told around the world, there were applications from hundreds of young men who wanted to undergo the same kind of operation. Well, Diana, now that you're officially a woman, how does it feel? I feel absolutely marvelous, thank you. Did you always want to be a woman? As long as I can remember, sir, yes. And now that you are, uh, how does it, what do you miss most about being a man? I never was really in, in intensity a man, um, or psychologically, so I miss nothing about my malehood. Lee Davis of Ottawa was born a woman. Recently, after a number of medical operations, Lee Davies became a man. I was only a kid. I felt different. I mean, I knew I wasn't, my body wasn't what my mind was saying I was. My mind was totally male. Caroline's surgery 17 years ago gave her the woman's body she dreamt of and a model's salary of $200,000 a year. No one questioned her femininity. In fact, she modeled for seven years before the British tabloids made her story public. She even played a Bond girl in a 007 film. It's only the British government that doesn't accept the change. I'm sort of classified still as a man. I mean, I break the law every day if I use the woman's toilet. I mean, I can't really use the, the men's. I mean, if I committed a crime, I'd be in a men's prison. 